You could call it Mars Madness. For the first time, three spacecraft from three different nations will be exploring the red planet at the same time. Missions from China and the United Arab Emirates are orbiting Mars now, and NASA's Mars rover is scheduled to land next week. Eric Sorensen explains what they're hoping to teach us about Earth's neighbor. One, and liftoff. Two, three spacecraft blasted off from Mars last year. China's Tianwen-1 has just arrived, slowing into its orbit around Mars. A highly ambitious, somewhat secretive mission is the first to include an orbiter, a lander and a rover. China is the sixth country to reach Martian orbit. The fifth arrived yesterday. The Hope spacecraft from the United Arab Emirates will not land, but will circle to study the atmosphere and climate. It's an historic breakthrough for the Arab world that looks to diversify from its oil economy. For our science community, this is an, a, a, a large leap for them. They today have a mission around another planet, collecting data for the very first time. The two missions, HOPE and Tianwen-1, will be joined next week by a third, NASA's Perseverance. It's a little like rush hour to Mars. All three spacecraft left Earth last July. It's a rare opportunity that comes around only once every 26 months when the Earth and Mars are relatively close to each other and the three spacecraft can make the 500 million kilometer journey to catch up to the Martian orbit in just seven months. As the HOPE spacecraft remains in orbit, the Chinese will send down their lander this spring. Then comes Perseverance. It arrives in one week and it will land almost immediately in Jezero Crater. Here, because Jezero was a real lake more than three billion years ago, fed by a river and surrounded by an atmosphere that may have supported life, the ultimate discovery. Did life exist there in the past? Does life exist there now? And could life, including us, exist there in the future? And so a lot of the missions have been piecing together insights. Perseverance is the first in a series of missions by NASA that will drill into the Martian surface for rock samples that will be sealed and stored, then picked up by future missions and returned to Earth 10 years from now. It only gets more exciting from here. Space agencies on Earth are planning to send humans out to explore. First, a return to the moon in this decade, and then to Mars in the 2030s. Our first interplanetary travel is just around the corner. Eric Sorensen, Global News, Toronto.